happy summer. This is Kristen Twitchell, the Executive Director from the Paradise Center for the Arts, reporting to you from the Carlander Gallery here at the Paradise, and we're gonna share some great opportunities coming up yet this summer for the month of August here at the Paradise. We've got the big one happening, which is right here on our poster. It's our annual Blue Collar Barbecue Music and Arts Fest, and that happens every summer on the second Saturday of the month. This year, that is Saturday, August 10th, 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. So I'm gonna have Katie just share a little bit about who's in our gallery, and we're gonna talk about who's coming up in this awesome space. Hi, I'm Katie Schaumann. I'm the Community Engagement Coordinator here at the Paradise. Behind me, you can see this lovely piece. This is a lovely piece by Lisa Truex. She is from Winona, Minnesota. And we also have Jillian Steger. She is a local jewelry artist here in Faribault, uh, displayed in this gallery along with her. So we've got, obviously, these great displays going up through August 12th, okay. and then in the Lois Franish gallery we have our members show going on right now and that is out of the box which actually was Katie's idea you want to tell us a little bit about that idea so out of the box I wanted to challenge our members to do something that isn't their traditional medium so if you're a painter maybe try doing pottery or if you are a potter maybe try doing some sewing or crocheting so it's really cool to see all of our members trying something different so you can come on back down to the Paradise through August 12th and to see these gallery displays. And then after that, we invite you back for some fantastic art. We have a new gallery opening on August 16th from five to seven, and we will have Reed Thorpe in our Carlander Family Gallery and then Karen LaQuay in the Lois Rhinish Boardroom. So that's a full summer yet of visual arts, but we definitely have a great month of performing arts coming up. So in addition to the Blue Collar Barbecue Music and Arts Fest, we also have Madagascar Junior, which is, I believe, 41 kids? 41, yep. 41 children ages five through high school youth who will be performing that wonderful musical based on the movie Madagascar, which is about some New York City zoo animals that managed to escape and instead of going to the greener pastures of Connecticut, they end up in Madagascar and it's all their <laughs> adventures and although it's kids performing, it's a great show for anybody to come out and see and super affordable, only $4 for kids and $8 for adults and we have a family four pack so if you wanna bring a group, you can do that. But those shows will be performed August 16th at 7 p.m. August 17th at 7 p.m. and then we have a 1 p.m. matinee on Saturday August 17th and so the kids are doing a three-week theater camp and then putting that on our stage so we definitely want to have you come down and support those young actors. It's, I know a lot of our community theater folks with Paradise Community Theater got their stages got their start on the stage as little kids and so it's really fun yeah to have them here. And then we have Garrison Keeler coming back. For those folks who were here and knew about February, it got a little bit nasty. It was gross. In February around these parts. And we had a Garrison Keeler show. The show went on despite a blizzard, but he offered to come back for those people that couldn't make it and weren't in town. So this is sponsored by Hello Booking. They're renting out our space and it's an evening with Garrison Keeler and then it features Rich Dworkowski on piano and he was his longtime pianist and Prairie Home Companion. So for friends of Garrison Keeler and those who love Prairie Home Companion, it's an evening of storytelling, songs, news from Lake Wobegon, and just that kind of fun camaraderie that a Prairie Home Companion gave here live on the Paradise stage that's Saturday, August 24th. So that ends up the month. And then just to save the date is our Paradise Community Theater is presenting one of my favorite musicals, which is Disney's Newsies. And that comes in mid-September. But now I want us to talk a little bit more about the Blue Collar Barbecue, because that's really the main event for the summer. So we've been working hard. Katie, yeah. what are some of the stuff you've been doing to get ready? Um, well, I primarily have been working on promoting, 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 making sure that everybody knows about the Blue Collar Barbecue Music and Arts Festival. So make sure you're here in downtown Faribault. We will have uh, Central Avenue 
have me blocked off for 12 hours of music and fun. Um, we've got bouncy houses for kids and face painting. We've also got a free family activity that you can do right outside of the paradise. There will be a bean bag tournament and a barbecue contest, food trucks, food vendors, market vendors, um, pretty much anything you want in a music festival we have. And the thing about our music festival that's different than some of the others is we really try and capture a variety of music. So it's not all country. And even though it is a barbecue festival and it has blue in the name, it is not a blues music festival. True. People are always confused by that. So we actually start off the day right at 11 a.m. with the Lakelanders Barbershop Chorus performing. So that's that great fun barbershop sound that that happens first thing at 11 a.m. and then for our bluegrass fans we actually have the Sawtooth Brothers coming back they performed on our stage a couple years ago and they have some family connections to Monroe Crossing so for folks that know that group a great group of young men who are really talented are kind of carrying on that bluegrass tradition so they play right at noon and then for folks who may have remembered our Grand Old Opry shows here at the Paradise that sold out a smaller group of those performers are a group called Greasy Biscuits and they're doing that same kind of grand old opera music at 11, 15 p.m. So that old school traditional country, but they have a powerhouse female vocalist who just, I remember hearing and she just gave me chills. I still think about her. 115, so I got that time wrong. And then we have, wouldn't be a music festival this summer without remembering the anniversary of Woodstock. So we have a nod to that at 3 p.m. with Sawyer's Dream, which is a 70s band who has a Woodstock sound and look, but they actually do original music primarily, so that's a lot of fun. And then it would not be our music festival without Moses Oakland Quartet doing his kind of raw, edgy, blues, fun, music and he's just so fun to have on stage so he's 4 30 and then at six o'clock that's when our headliners start and the paradise is a nonprofit, and we are offering this show free up until six o'clock this year it's been free it's free for families for everybody up until six o'clock and then at six o'clock we do have a cover and we invite you to get that now because it's only ten dollars if you get it ahead of time and i was thinking about that i'm like that's like three dollars and thirty cents a band which is just is great of. yeah that's what you're paying to come see it so sit uh, less than a drink less than a drink exactly so and we keep the drinks the same price they are still four dollars well where can you go and listen to live music and a drink for four dollars a drink or even less than that and hear amazing music. So we have the award-winning blues artist PK Mayo who will be on our stage. And then one of our really big headliners, everybody pretty much in Minnesota should know, and if you don't know, you should come hear him, and that's Martin Zeller and the Hardways, which I like to say is just Gear Daddy's Light. It's essentially yeah. the Gear Daddies with, I think they're missing one guy. So doing all the iconic Martin Zeller songs as well as some new stuff that he's working on an album and they usually throw in a couple good covers yeah, too and then, and then some great covers and then we have street talk at 9 p.m kind of ending out with the street dance and that has some local folks certainly we want to give a shout out to cns vending who's our block party sponsor and scott is actually part of that group so it's really wanted to feature a a great mix of Minnesota artists. These are all from Minnesota, and then obviously having some local folks on our stage as well. We're kind of starting the day with the Lakelanders who are local, and then ending the day with Street Talk who have local ties, and just celebrating the talent. Plus, I believe we're well over 20 market vendors, mm -hmm. the food trucks, and then we also have the family and cultural stage, which is its second year this year, and we have the internationally known Teddy Bear Band kicking it off. So that's a great family group. We have the Aztec dancers coming back. We have spontaneous productions, the comedy and improv. We've got some storytelling on that stage. So it's going to be a great all day event. Come on down, get your tickets now. They're just $10, Paradise Center for the Arts.org. Save some money instead of having to buy the ticket at the door. And then remember it is free from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m and it's free all day and all evening for children 12 and under. So we really are excited. Saturday, August 10th, check out the Paradise Center for the Arts because we have all these great events, including this one as well as the Madagascar Kids and then, of course, Garrison Keeler. So we look forward to seeing you here or seeing you out on Central Avenue at the Blue Collar Barbecue Music and Arts Fest.